your girl Nita V back with another video and look man I know I'm in a different setting than I normally be I'm in my bedroom right now chilling sipping some hot cocoa out my tumbler because look man I ain't gonna even lie it's pretty late at night and I had a long day and yes I do be in the bed with my hoodie on it's hoodie season hat season and I just be chilling but man, look, I was getting ready to watch one of my favorite Christmas movies. Uh, hold on, let me show y'all. Yeah, I was getting ready to watch one of my favorite Christmas movies on Netflix, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Man, it's one of my favorite movies in the world, man. For y'all, ain't never watched this before. It is on Netflix right now. But as I was about to start my movie, I was like, man, it is a crazy, crazy thing because I was like, I love all type of um, Christmas movies, like scary Christmas movies, family Christmas movies, children Christmas movies. It don't matter. I just love Christmas movies. And it's Christmas season, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see, I got my festive Christmas lights in my bed. You know what I'm saying? I put the LED lights, man. I might give y'all a little tour of how I decorated my room or whatever. But, man, I said, why not shelf the BL Squad with some of my favorite Christmas movies of all time is, you know what I'm saying? It is Vlogmas. I am letting y'all get to know me personally, more connectively. And I was like, what's not a better way to show y'all, you know, you know, reflect some of my personality on y'all like I always do anyway. So, if this y'all first time coming across this channel, man, y'all don't really know me like that, man, go hit that subscribe button, go on, join the squad, you know what I'm saying, get to know your girl need to be, you feel me? Hit that subscribe button, go on, like this video, and uh, go on, share it with everybody y'all know so, you know, we can grow, because that's what we want. Now, it's not even in the old particular order. I ain't doing like 1 to 10, my favorite, I'm just saying my favorite movies that I watch. So, the first movie that can come off the dome is Home Alone. Like, who don't love Home Alone, man? Macaulay Culkin was like the best Home Alone. It was like, man, Kevin? Are you serious? Man, Kevin was the best Home Alone in the world. So, like, Macaulay Culkin was like, it was like family. It was like comedy. It had some jokes in there for the older folks. You know what I'm saying? It was just one of the movies, you feel me? So, I'm going to have to say Home Alone was like my favorite. Like, one of my number favorites. Like, number one, that's the one that's off top of the dome. You feel me? So, Home Alone is one of my favorites. So, number two, I would say number two would be the movie I'm watching now. The one I just showed y'all, Very Harold and Kumar Christmas, which is on Netflix. Y'all can go watch that. And, um... Yeah, if y'all know anything about her and Kumar, like, take crazy adventures, man. Y'all know that when her and Kumar come together, bruh, I don't know what's going on. Because it's like, her is like, the, you know, the level-headed one, always want to make the right decisions. And then you got Kumar, who gonna do what Kumar does, and it's just gonna make it crazy, you know. You know, Harold got his girl, Kumar trying to get one, you know, it's just crazy. And they trying to get together for the holidays. Like, Harold's going to, I think it was Harold going to his uh, fiance, girlfriend, wife. I don't know, it's been a minute since I watched it. But I know the girl, He they was going for the holidays. And, you know, Kumar got to come along, you know. And y'all already know, when Kumar blazing, crazy stuff happened, man. It was just, just think of high company, like loaded coming in like you getting zooted coming in type of thing but it's just stupid funny to me like for real mistake number three it is another kind of raunchy type of adult like christmas coming in type of thing i'm gonna go with bad sound <laughs> like y'all know what bad son is now come on now bad Santa with the drunk santa claus who you know Squatting at people houses, man, with the boy who, want, who always wants sandwiches. Like, come on, man. Like, that movie had so many gems in it. Like, from the drunk Santa Claus who finally got a heart and wanted to help the boy get through Christmas because he didn't have nobody to really make his sandwiches other than his grandma who was always sleeping on the couch. And basically, that's why the son got to squat in the house because, you know, he didn't have nobody. And, um, and then toward the end, Santa got a heart. He started falling in love. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to rob the mall no more. He didn't want to take the money from the kids, you know. 
So, yeah, man. Bad Santa was a good movie. And he started out bad. But he ended up good. Boom. Number four. Number four is a Corky. It's a Corky comedy that I don't know if y'all, like, if this generation know about this. But Ernest Saves Christmas, bro. Yo, growing up, my mama used to have all type of Ernest's. Ernest goes to camp. Ernest learns how to drive. Ernest plays basketball. Ernest was like one of the, I wouldn't say he was something wrong with him, but he was so like innocent, like as an older guy. Like he's kind of like a Pee Wee Herman meeting, like, uh, like an older type of Pee Wee Herman for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he just, like, you know what I mean? Like, he got this country accent that's, like, just super funny and super dope. Ernest saved Christmas. Like, he wanted to say the Christmas tree, put the Christmas tree up and all that type of stuff. He had lights for the kids. You know, actually say the town. You know what I'm saying? You know, people be Grinches during the holidays. And whoever be Grinches should not be Grinches. Smile a little bit because Ernest saves your Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So, Ernest saves Christmas is a good movie. Okay, so boom. Like y'all know, like Christmas is about celebrating holidays, all that good stuff like that, right? But they also have like scary movies for like the people who just really love horror movies. And my number six movie is it's an actual horror movie called Crumpus. Crumpus is about um, what would happen if he was naughty. Basically, it's like. To the naughty kids, Krampus is coming to get you, so you better be nice to him. You feel me? Krampus is like, um, I think it was like an evil elf or evil, um, Santa who came in and just started, you know, trying to kill everybody who was being mad, bad, like bad people, you know, who was being naughty. I don't want to tell too much in the movie because y'all got to go watch it. It's very for the horror people. Like it was, I wouldn't say it was scary to me, but it was. It had like this, you know. It had it ooh moments. You know what I'm saying? Like ooh, what's gonna happen? I don't wanna watch. I wanna watch. Uh, it had the moments. So go check out Crumpus, man. I'm really trying to tell y'all, it's a good, interesting movie. So right now I'm gonna say number seven. Uh, number seven will be The Grinch. <laughs> The Grinch who stole Christmas. Now, they got a whole bunch of Grinches, you know what I'm saying? But I'm actually talking about the movie with Jim Carrey in it. Who don't know that one? Like, Jim Carrey, like, the best, like, Grinch of it all. Like, I like the new one that came out a couple years ago, but the cartoon. But this one right here is the classic. Like, who don't know about the Grinch? Like, the Grinch who stole Christmas, who had a tiny heart like this. And his heart start growing big when the people of Whoville start showing them that, you know, Christmas is a time of giving, not stealing. And he just wanted to give everybody their presents back. Like, he went to, you know, Whoville and had the who spinach and hung the trees and stuff and started saying, <laughs> y'all know y'all know the song man the grinch will be number seven okay next <laughs> number eight will be something that uh it's kind of touching you know it's touching and y'all know the best man the best man holiday it was touching and it also made you cry and it also was like the saddest movie because why Mia had to die? Mia had to die, I didn't like that. Mia died at the end, I'm sorry. I just, it just touched me. But The Best Man How Lay is about how friends fell apart. You know, because if y'all ever followed The Best Man Chronicles like Will Harper, who is played by Tay Diggs, um, wrote this book about all his friends and all that, and they kind of fell apart for like 10 years, and like, Mia knew this was going to be her last Christmas, so she wanted everybody to get together. She got, uh, Harper and Lance, who was Marsh Chestnut, um, Sinai Lathan, uh, Neil Long, uh, Regina Hall, uh, 
Terrence Howard, just a whole bunch of black excellence in this movie. And, you know, she wanted all of them to come together and just, you know, because she knew Lance would need his best friend who was Harper, who wrote the book, to get him through these trying times. You know, they went through their obstacles, you know. You know, with those type of things. And then at the end, they finding out that uh, Mia had cancer and, you know, she was going to pass actually passed on christmas christmas day yeah it was like lance had a game that day and the only thing she wanted she said her last wish was for her man to win and get that hall of fame record that he was going for and he did that for her and after he did that he just ran straight off the field and went straight to her and just held her till she passed away it was just like it was like the most tear jerking move like i want to cry just think about it because man like i just hear the music and everything and i just see it it's just go watch the movie like oh my god just go watch the movie oh okay number nine like look i only got two more two more movies like stick in there you feel me stick in there guys number eight is i'm gonna lighten the mood up I'm going to tell y'all what it is. Jack Frost. You feel me? Jack Frost the Snowman is like crazy. And I'm talking about the movie with, uh, what's his name? Dang, I can't think of him. It's not Bruce Willis. It's, uh, Michael King. Oh, I knew I was going to get it. Michael King plays Jack Frost. It's about a man and his family and the man is in a band right and he the band had got a, like a gig on christmas but he has a family and his family was like spend time with us daddy and then he was like no i gotta follow my dream son so it was like he was caught up in between so he was like on the road going to the show and he was like no nah, i want to go back and spend time with my family then he was like driving back and it was like a snowstorm and he had a brick and he didn't make it and you know, he died, they had the fun and everything. And it was like a couple years later where a little boy, you know, was like in his feelings. He went outside and he built the snowman and he put his daddy hat and scarf and tobacco thing in his mouth. And he was like, all he wanted for Christmas was spend time with his, as a family, but you, cause you know, his family had broke up. And then like, I guess the skies and the Lord and everything heard him and gave his dad a second chance to come in home into the snowman. And after that, it was just straight coming. To like, the snowman was trying to go in the house and he was melting, trying to eat soup and having snowball fights. And his wife seen him and almost passed out and tried to run over with a car. It's like, but at the end of the movie, they finally got their wish. They got to say goodbye to their husband and their father one last time and they got to spend one last christmas with them and it was just a cool movie man it was just it was a tearjerker and it also funny so you gotta watch that too all right so my last movie people my num i wouldn't say it's number one but it's the 10th movie so top movie on the list is but almost christmas is about a family who then went off into their own ventures or whatever and their mother passed away so their father is like i want to have this one christmas for my baby she ain't here no more but i'm gonna try to get it together he was trying to get the family together make the famous sweet potato pie monique is in this movie as well and you know she's a drunk ain't it who just causing a whole bunch of ruckus man the uh kim husband cheating on her um He's just a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, Lauren Lund is in this movie as well. You know, Columbus Short. Now I'm starting to think about this movie. Like, DC Young flies in here. Uh, it's basically just, you know, a family coming together. Like, family got their drama and family go through their things. But at the end of the day, they come together and they realize that daddy tried to put this together for us for one more Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Even though we got our own problems careers ain't going right relationships ain't going right but when we come home ooh, i want to be a wonderful day i want to be a wonderful day and that's called almost christmas because it was almost christmas like it was almost like we almost got it right but you know through the we still did it it kind of reminds you of uh 
This Christmas with Chris Brown in it. But yeah, that's a good movie too. Ooh, This Christmas. I didn't think about that. But man, look. Thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all interested in any of these things that I was just rambling on about. I've been talking about 19 minutes. But thank y'all for watching this video. It is Vlogmas. I told y'all, man, I am on a roll. You feel me? Be sure y'all subscribe to the channel and don't forget to stop playing.